Welcome back to New Windsor. Today we're going to be working over in New Belfast where we placed the old downtown in the past episode and uh, today we're going to come back here. We're going to add a bunch of detail, uh, trees, everything like that. Let's get straight into it. Alright, so we're not going to do all that much Google Earth in this episode, because honestly, like, we're just detailing this area. That's all that's going on. So, uh, here I've placed, uh, well, I'm, right now I'm placing a bunch of power lines, because, you know, I'm a noob at this game, you know, I'm not up to date on the mods, and somehow I didn't understand that you could disable road collision, um, or, like, network collision in general, and that was in the Find Road Tool menu. I didn't know that. <laughs> until like a live stream that I did recently and somebody pointed it out and I felt completely embarrassed but the fact that that is a thing makes my life a lot easier because now I can place power lines everywhere uh, whereas I couldn't before so you're gonna see a lot more power lines uh, in in the future if we do hit the network limit the power lines are gonna have to go first I'll have to unsubscribe from them but for now they look awesome uh, so I'm placing them uh, essentially everywhere because there are a lot of power lines in the real world and they add a really nice realistic touch so uh yeah uh another thing there are a lot of tree gaps in between buildings here uh which are slightly unrealistic for an area this dense but uh, I, I wanted to give the area a little bit of breathing room and the slopes are pretty steep so having loads and loads of houses piled on top of each other didn't make too much sense and i wanted to place some normal residential like suburban buildings here so uh it's not all ultra high density or anything um yeah in general this episode we're just gonna copy paste a lot of trees you know work on a lot of detail here um these are all uh, Darf's New England uh, townhouses, and I try to leave this area a little open so that I can get a nice cinematic view with the trees not covering the houses, and you'll see, it looks really, really great. Um, we, we get some great cinematics at the end uh, of the video, um, but I, I really can't wait until this whole area comes together. We're connected with downtown uh, New Windsor, and that's coming uh, it's so, so soon. Right, here we are working on this high school that we well we placed it last episode it's a compilation of three different buildings uh, that I I placed here and um, yeah I, I mean I'm just adding like some paths around it that's essentially all I'm doing we will add the sports fields in don't worry those will be across the street though because there's 
essentially no space here, so we'll, we'll do that in the next episode, pot, or not in the next episode, maybe two episodes from now if we work in this area. Next episode, remember, we build the light rail system, which I'm so hyped for. I cannot wait to uh, release that. I, like, uh, it was not something I was planning on doing until I got loads and loads of suggestions, so you know, the, the pressure works, so if you, if you really have a uh, something you want me to build, you, you just continue to repeat it in the comments and um, try to get people to upvote it, and I'll see it for sure. I read every comment, and if I see it enough times, uh, I'll be sort of forced to build it, uh, and that was sort of what happened here with the light rail system, because the city, you know, expanded so far out, and people realized, you know, this is a pretty big city, uh, probably should add some mass transit, it's literally connected to another entire city in New Belfast, and, you know, a, a light rail might make a little bit of sense there, and, you know, I didn't realize that MBTA, uh, I, I believe that's how you say it, the Boston, that, that's the Boston light rail system, um, uh, I didn't know those assets from the workshop, but they definitely are, and they look awesome. Uh, pretty high in triangles, but like, you know, I'll, I'll manage. I'm fine. Uh, and it, it's just gonna look awesome. Um, everything's totally functioning great uh, with improved public transport. I also, in the next episode, add school bus lines uh, that go to and from schools and like around the surrounding neighborhoods. And they go through like, you know, smaller streets like they might normally uh and it looks really realistic like just having like a front uh or a flat front bus like one of those flat front massive yellow american school buses just going through like a quiet little neighborhood it's cool uh i'm, I'm really really looking forward to releasing that video it's gonna be great uh so that's gonna be um pretty soon hopefully a couple days from now if all goes as planned once again uh, i mentioned this in the last uh, episode i am pre-recording audio for episodes 35, 34, and 36. I don't know why I did that in the in that order, but I did. But yeah, I'm pre-recording right now, so I don't know when that I don't know when that episode will come out, but it'll be soon and it's going to be a big episode. For background music for the most part. We've still got some DJ quads in there, but uh, there's a lot of chill hop, which I haven't really integrated into New Windsor until now, and I'm liking it. Hopefully you are too, so definitely tell me in the comments how you're liking the music, because, you know, DJ quads is awesome, but the library of DJ quads music that exists is very minimal, so... Well, at least DJ Quads music that I can use as background music that's like chill. DJ Quads is like a lot of really loud music as well that I can't use. So, um, yeah, I, I like this. I think it's chill. I think it's nice. There's a really nice variety. Um, and yeah, so definitely give me some feedback on that. Um, other than that, I mean, I'm, I'm placing a lot of brick sidewalks as you can see because 
I mean, that's sort of the realistic thing in Portland's just to place a lot of bricks on the sidewalks. Uh, it, it's insane um, the amount of surfaces in Portland that are brick. I, I feel like it's disproportionate in Portland, like even more than other New England um, cities. Like I haven't really seen something like that in New Haven or something. So here we are detailing the big ugly office building that's sort of the elephant in the room. Um, I didn't want to place this, but I sort of had to because it's only realistic. Uh, there's always a big ugly office building uh, in a downtown, no matter how old and quaint the downtown is. Uh, if it's like uh, of this scale with you know, so many high rises, somebody somewhere got a bad permit to build this and it's really ugly. So that's why that's there. So we're really starting to get in and detail these buildings. So one thing I used a lot here that I haven't really used too much before, uh, like, you know, on, on a large scale, uh, was the retaining wall networks, which are actually really awesome. My main problem with them is that decals sort of, yeah, decals sort of stick to them. So the leaves decals will just make a whole, you know, foot of the wall just completely red but do it a lot of times, and it, it just doesn't look good. So I haven't been placing enough of Mr. Mason's, you know, old autumn trees, which are just complete classics. Um, and, I mean, they're there every once in a while in the in the woods but the main trees obviously that i place are the padelmo big autumn trees and the reason for that is because they are really really um bushy they that they they're like the problem with mr mason's trees is that you know they're maples they they don't um have much foliage below a certain point uh, and I try to fill these areas with these really dense trees so I don't have to use too many trees. Um, but, you know, in New England, like, the forests are filled with pretty tall trees um, for the most part. Uh, so I don't know how realistic those specific trees are as choices, but I don't know. Overall, it's fine. It's just a nitpicky thing. But, um, yeah, i making a little abandoned lot here because why not? Well, not abandoned, but for sale or whatever. Uh, and I, I use those uh, brick roads or the roads with the brick sidewalks, even though they have the European medians, just because I need the brick sidewalks like everywhere. Uh, so I use those smaller roads with the brick sidewalks, and that's actually just a complete lifesaver for me here. But I wish they actually came without the medians.
yeah, another thing. So, I have not made a tutorial in a while. Um, I remember I said I at one point that I wanted to make tutorials, like, m way more often. That hasn't really happened because, I mean, these New Windsor episodes, are they're not easy to produce, but it's sort of the same thing every time, so there's no uh, unquantified cost that's just going to be really... Uh, or, like, unquantified time cost that I can't really figure out beforehand, and I've been really busy recently, so I need, like, you know, co my, my time costs need to be completely certain when I undertake a project, so that's why I've been doing new Windsor episodes. But I do want to work on some tutorials, uh, and because you, you all seem to really like those. Uh, so if you have any suggestions for tutorials, please, please, please leave them in the comments. If you see a suggestion you like remotely, upvote it. Uh, that'd be awesome. Uh, and uh, yeah, I want to try to make more tutorials. Anyway, end of the episode. Hopefully you all enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. It really does help out a ton. New Windsor episodes are doing great, and I'm really happy you're all enjoying. Uh, and yeah, if, if you're new around here, which like 50% of viewers of the series are somehow, uh, you can uh, subscribe uh, and hit the bell icon next to the subscribe button to get notified whenever I upload. Uh, so you never miss another episode of New Windsor. Uh, you can uh, follow me on Patreon and support me over there. Uh, you get access to episodes early. Like right now, you get access to the, the uh, episode where we build the light rail just for like a dollar a month. Just buy me a part of a coffee every month and you'll get access to episodes early. Or if you just want to support me. Uh, and you can uh, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Those are in the description. That's about it. Hopefully you all enjoyed. And I'll see you next time.